Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this video. We're not gonna do any talking. We're just gonna write to this tutorial because this is super, super easy. You guys have seen this doing, done on my hair, but never on Naraya's hair. So I thought I would give you guys a little tutorial on her hair since she has, um, you know, for a, a different type of hair from me. And I guess you guys just love to see her hair. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I do for her simple, um, you know, managing routine for her straight hair is I start by basically brushing her hair out. And I just like to detangle it to make sure that when I do her actual oiling process, that it's actually getting through to all of her strands and she doesn't have, you know, tangles or anything in the way. So that's what I'm just going to do right now. And this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start to section her hair off into subsections, just like I do with her curly hair. And I like to do this just because it gives me, you know, individual sections to work with. It's a lot easier and it makes the job a lot easier because she does have a lot of hair. So I'm gonna start in the back and pretty much all I do is take the Nourish by Chante Stimulating Scalp and Hair Oil and I put it directly on to her scalp. Um, you guys, like I said, it's the same thing that I do with her curly hair, but um, of course her hair is straight. It's a lot easier. It, it gets done a lot quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and put that directly onto her scalp. And this is just going to help her scalp to not feel dry or itchy because with straight hair, you can um, kind of get that effect. As you guys see, her hair is not completely straight. She's been having her hair straight for a, you know, a while now, but... Her hair actually only lasts for about a day. So, uh, but we are trying to maintain her hair so that she doesn't have to go curly because Naraya wants to keep her hair like this for a while just to give me a break and also to give herself a break. And I'm gonna put the oil on the actual shaft of her hair too, but I just went ahead and brushed it out just in case. As you guys see, I'm scalp massaging her hair in a downward motion. And I just do this so that her hair does not get tangled. For my hair, I can do it, you know, in the circular motion, but for Noraya's hair, I find that doing it this way is the best. I'm also going to go ahead and take the stimulating scalp and hair oil and put it on the ends of her hair as well, just so that I can make sure that that part gets a little bit of love as well. Love that this oil is rich in antioxidants. It's going to help maintain her scalp health for sure. Also love the fact that it's actually soothing and is known to reduce any type of inflammation. So this oil works really good on Naraya's hair and on my hair as well, as you guys already know. And it just helps to improve her hair follicles all together. So this is like my go-to oil. I've been using it for years. So this routine in total takes about 25 minutes at the most, probably a little bit longer because I was you know, filming, but this is such a quick routine. Like, I have no complaints about this routine on straight hair. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping her hair like this for a while. If you guys want this stimulating hair and scalp oil, which is my growth oil, you can go ahead and click the link down below where you'll have a direct link to my website and you can go ahead and purchase this for yourself as well. Okay, so as I get to the front of her hair and I finish with my scalp massaging and oiling, all I do now is kind of like brush her hair, you know, make sure that it's nice and smooth for bedtime. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put her hair into a hair tie. 
And I like to do like a huge braid in the back to make sure that everything stays nice and maintained. And it gives her a little wave in the morning as well. And then in the morning time, she decides if she wants to actually wear the braid or if she wants to take it out. And we do this at least two to three times a week. And this is how we have been maintaining her hair um, while it's been, you know, sort of straight, not in the curly state. Okay guys, so that is all I do. This is Naraya's hair. I'm just gonna now go ahead and take a silk bonnet and I'm gonna put that on her hair. This is her favorite silk bonnet. It's the only one that fits on her hair and actually stays. As you guys can see, it's ripped. Yeah, ignore that part. But I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.